Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101, an hour away from 8 a.m. We'll have tickets. The only way to get in, they're free. Of course, free tickets to the Offspring at the Metro tomorrow night. The Q101 pop-up, it's historic. They'll be playing for 50,000 people playing that song when they do Smash in its entirety at Riot Fest on Friday night. But the Metro is an exclusive invite only event 8 a.m is your way to get in so stay here for that at eight o'clock this morning with brian and kenzie on q101 the q101 morning crew sports well a beautiful night at wrigley a game that got away from them losing to the a's 4-3 but the moon was in the sky looking amazing 14 percent bigger well that's good <laughs> with the, the harvest moon is 14 percent bigger than it normally is because the orbit of the moon is not perfectly round so that's why that looked so awesome when you were in Wrigley Field last night on a warm summer night, even though they lost. And now there's six games out of the wild card. The Braves are only two games out ahead of the Cubs with 11 games left. It's not looking good. It's, it's, not. it's not. It's not. Kenzie, you always have a positive spin. Give me something positive. What if the Braves get into like a huge bus accident mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and everyone's injured? But they live. They live. We want people to live. And they do great next year. <laughs> <laughs> but this year, uh-huh. they all just need a break. Because, you know, you could have a concussion. Even if you're not severely injured, it's good to sit out for a little bit, see how everything's looking. The only way to really judge a concussion is to wait a week. And exactly. the season will be over. <laughs> and I don't make those hospital rules. No. You know what I'm saying? Doctors. I don't know. Yeah, you're famously not a doctor. I've, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I am mm. not a doctor. So okay. Yeah, Case, go ahead. Sorry, bus crash for the Atlanta Braves. Do you have a plan for the Mets? Mm-hmm. What if the two buses run into each other? <laughs> huh. Because they're going to play each other? Are they playing uh, soon, the Mets? I don't, I don't think they play each other again. No. Let me, let me double check here as I open up the Braves schedule. They've got the Reds, the Marlins. Oh, they do have the Mets. Oh, my I God. I knew it. So when they're, like, going to see each other... They run into each other. Yeah. So, and I will tell you. And what are the odds? Well, notoriously, I-95 is terrible. We th- I know. Oh, I, listen, I know our traffic sucks and there's so many terrible accidents here. 95 on the East Coast because it goes through, you know, from Boston to New York to Philly to D.C. To all the way to Atlanta. And then you got I-75. The merge comes in Atlanta. This could easily happen. Because the, the, this is in Atlanta. So it's the, it's the Braves home games. Mm-hmm. September 24th, 25th, 26th. They're yeah. playing the Mets. I'm just saying... Fingers crossed. So no one dead. No. No one severely injured. Just everyone kind of on concussion watch and have to take it easy, you know? I asked you for a positive I asked you for a positive spin and you gave me one. Thank you. Bless bless you. Twenty five years ago today, Sammy Sosa became the first player to hit sixty home runs in a season for the second time, two years in a row. Two two. Hit deep to center. Grissom back. Look at Wrigley Field in that video. Look at that. Little kids with Sosa painted on their chest and their shirts off. Aww. What's funny about this clip, mm. it goes on for two minutes. It's on TV, on WGN, this was, yeah. back then. Mm-hmm. There's no other talking after that. They just let the crowd sit with the 60 home runs right there. The Whoa. announcer said what he said, and then that's it. It's very nice. It's really loud. Every time Brian says something funny, we should just play that clip for two minutes afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit with it. Yeah, I'm going to get this ready to go. Really nice. Really nice. 25 years ago today. And where is, what's the charity Sammy Sosa's coming to town for, Kenzie? Uh, Club 400. That's yeah. going to be not this Saturday, but the following. Yeah. It'll be at Club 400. You can buy tickets for it. Oh, uh, and, and 100% just... of the proceeds go to the Club 400 charity, which is Cubs fan helping Cubs fan. And very rare that Sammy Sosa, you know, in this situation, yeah. and just love to see him come back to Wrigley and throw out a first pitch or something. Absolutely. I don't know. I wish they would just make up. I, I wish know. the Cubs and Sosa would make but up. But at least, like, he's going to have a Cubs fan connection. At least he's coming back and doing that. I'm yep. super excited about that. Uh, the White Sox got the memo and got blanked by the Angels, so they got to win five of the last ten to not be the worst team in baseball. So locally, Fox 32 reached out to one of the two players still alive from the 1962 Mets who have the record for the worst team in baseball history. And they asked the retired pitcher. This is one of the two guys left alive, Kenzie. His name's Jay Hook. Wow. And whether he's rooting for the White Sox to beat the Mets record of the worst ever. Okay. Is he, is he, does he want the White Sox to get the worst record so it wipes the Mets off the map as being the worst team ever? Okay. He said this. Surprising answer. No. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. <laughs> 
to be the worst team in baseball history like he is. Yeah. You'd think he Why wa- wouldn't you automatically wish that on someone else so it's not you anymore? Thank you. Weird. The guy is 87, going to turn 88 in a month. Yeah, don't you want to die with not that? Exactly. But that's the generosity and also what he knows on how bad this record is <laughs> that the White Sox and Chicago is about to inherit. That says a lot. From a guy like that, you think he'd be saying, like, take it. I want to die in peace eventually. Hope eventually, we li- not soon. We're ho- not saying Hopefully that. he lives 15 more years. I don't years. want him on the bus with yeah. the other teams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, noteworthy on that 62 team. They were called the Amazing Mets. It was an expansion franchise that set that modern-day baseball record losing 120 games. So they had an excuse, by the way. They were in an f- expansion at that time. The White Sox have it's no excuse. We're all rebuilding. Yeah, there's a new team. <laughs> He said, also, nobody in 1962 paid attention to losses in baseball as a record. No one cared. There was no social media to keep reposting everything all the time. That's fair. So, <laughs> so, so they went under the radar, he said, kind of in a way. But, of course, history has brought it up every time because the White Sox are doing this. I just couldn't, I couldn't get that out of my head. Those words hit me. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, and yet Chicago's going to have this record in a week and a half. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Don't be like that. It hasn't Prob- even happened. Well, I, want, I think they should have it because it represents, I'm, I'm talking to the fan base of the Southsiders. You want to send a message, be the worst, and then that could maybe cause change to happen. Being the, second worst is no good. Do you honestly think that if they, <laughs> wait, do you think that if they don't receive that, they're going to be like, oh, it was a pretty good year? <laughs> like, that's that's you, the only way. I'm actually I'm asking. You think you think that's funny, but I think they will. I think they'll judge the year as, hey, we came back strong at the end of the year. We're looking forward to the next year. The well, players yeah, came together. Yeah, well, they're working with the players. They're all new. Yeah. New people <laughs> in the game. <laughs> What? Don't laugh at that. Uh, it's hard. It's a new job. It's yeah. scary when you get the major leagues. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Finally, uh, maybe you got this message uh, by an email, which I got, that says NBC Sports Channel will cease to exist on your YouTube TV soon. And then I realized NBC Sports Channel is going away. I didn't even realize that for a minute. It's, just, it's gone. It's going to be gone because the Blackhawks, Bulls, and White Sox have work together with Jerry Reinsdorf, of course, to create the Chicago Sports Network. It'll be CHSM, so it'll broadcast live games free for Blackhawks, Bulls, and White Sox, but they have no carrier yet, meaning you have to have an HD antenna to, right now. It's not, it doesn't exist yet. It starts in November. No, October. October? It starts in October for the start of the Blackhawks oh, season. Oh, you're right, October 1st. No, we only have two weeks left of NBC Sports Chicago, and then it goes away. Can I ask something? Yes. And I'm, this is a real question. Mm. How do people still have antennas? Well, that's my question, is how many people out there... Do you still need antennas? You, well, if you don't want to pay for anything, you can get an HD antenna and pick up all the local TV channels with an okay. HD antenna. Got it. I did that when I moved here because I didn't get the cable guy to come quick enough. So I bought an HD antenna at Target and the sadly... And put it on the roof of your apartment complex? I just put it to the window and it oh. worked. Yeah. <laughs> I climbed up 50 floors outside like, like Spider-Man. Kinsey, scale down. Antennas are smaller than you're thinking. Yeah, they're not They're not the ones like the old school ones you grew up with. Like the huge, like, I imagine a massive disc. No, it's like a desk lamp. Oh. It's about that size. And they're like 20 bucks a target. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. didn't know you could do that. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Kenzie was picturing a radio tower. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. I was like, what? Well, where'd you put that? Well, I got it so I could watch games. I had no other TV yet. And instead, I got addicted to Japanese soap operas. There's a Japanese channel on HD oh, in what Chicago. Are they called? Well, I don't I don't understand it. I just got addicted <laughs> to watching it. Oh, I like I like hearing what they're called. Yeah, I don't know. You can look some up if you want. What's the, oh, let me see. What's the name? Well, while you do that, October 1st, so NBC Sports Channel gone. So watching those Bulls and White Sox and Blackhawks games for free. It's not gone, but it's way more difficult. Yeah, I like that they're free. I like that sports are slowly becoming more accessible again. But the White Sox and Cubs, or not Cubs, but Bulls and Blackhawks are doing it in the hardest way possible. Yeah, because now I was hoping they would go on YouTube TV or maybe Xfinity or whatever. However, you, I'm curious how many of our listeners watch it. Do they use YouTube, maybe in case they're YouTube TV people and Kenzie's an Xfinity person right now. So mm-hmm. what do you got, Kenzie? So what they call them, just like we call them soap operas, like Latin community calls them um, telenovelas, right? So they call them doramas, doramas. Mm-hmm. I'm, I, I don't know how to say it like, with a Japanese accent. Yep. Did you by <laughs> chance watch Tokyo Girl? That's that, a very popular one. That was it. Tokyo Girl. <laughs> I mean, I'm not 100% sure, My but there was a beautiful man. No, it wasn't that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with.
with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. Let's go. Corn tickets on the line and clash with Kenzie today and Sean and Displays will be competing against Kenzie. So Sean, ahoy, tell us something about yourself. You're not in rocking, not in rocking, not in rocking, not in rocking. It's my birthday tomorrow. Is that a different language? <laughs> <laughs> so I assume you were doing the breakdown in Freak on a Leash from Corn. No, that was Twist. Oh. oh. Twist. Twist. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get that, Brian. It was wrong. I know. It was terrible. Because I, I, I had ready to go, of course, the, the, the breakdown in Freak on a Leash. You know, the... Monster. Now, you do yours again now. Go ahead, Sean. Which one do you want me to do? You want me to do Twist or Freak on a Leash? We'll do Freak on a Leash. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty good, bud. That's pretty good. <laughs> so I guess you want to see corn, huh? I, yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, here we go. First one to five wins. Listen carefully. If Kenzie gets one wrong, you can steal a point. She can do the same to you. Call heads or tails. We call Heads for the band member Head, the guitarist. That very voice guy who knows his corn. <laughs> and it is Heads, actually. Knows his corn. <laughs> and there you go. Uh, you're going first, buddy, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Uh, which musician allegedly bit the head off of a bat? Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. That's right. Sean's got one. Kenzie, in which U.S. state would you find Mount Rushmore? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, oh, I, I think it's South Dakota. It is oh South Dakota. Anyways, Good job. Dakota. There's two of them. Didn't mean to make uh, their brain work too hard so early. Oh, it stresses me out. I haven't seen it, so you know, uh, can't remember where Dakota is. It sounds like it's close here, but I don't think it is. I think it's a pretty big drive. To, it, South Dakota sounds pretty, you know. Why, how does it sound? Why close? does it sound close to you? Because we've got a map, and it's like right there. No, it's it's not. everything's right there on a map. <laughs> it's, it's like we're so here. It's China. Like, look at that. <laughs> no. Come on now, South Dakota looks like we're here and it's like right there. It's not that far, but I think it's like 15 hours or something. I've been there. It's a long drive. You drove there? Yeah. Oh. See Mount Rushmore? Yeah. Wow. Is it worth it? It's a mountain. It's a rock. Yeah. <laughs> you know, with faces fine. on it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Sean, another music question for you. What band broke up this week after engaging in physical violence on stage over the weekend? Oh my God. Not Tenacious D. Um, <laughs> no, it was not Tenacious D. <laughs> Jack Black would never do that. He deserves a rim shot for that. He's a uh, nice man. Three, two. No, no clue. Okay. Uh, Kenzie? Jane's Addiction. That would be Jane's oh. Addiction, Sean. Kenzie's got two. And back to her as well. Uh, Kenzie, who plays Katie in the 2004 movie Mean Girls? Oh, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan is right. Kenzie's got three. Pretty quick here. Sean? Uh, what NBA player's son was drafted to the same team as his father in the 2024 NBA draft? Uh, who is LeBron James? Uh-huh. Very good. <laughs> that nice. <laughs> Kenzie, how many years is a millennium? Oh, good. <laughs> I, know. I hate these questions. Well, is, it qu is it a thousand? It is a thousand. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you just get a car accident? Kind of. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hate it. I knew it wasn't a centennial. It was a hundred. Mm -hmm. Why do we have a word for everything? Just be like a thousand years ago. Like, it just drives me insane. We have a word for everything. It's so annoying. Wow, it's like so it's many very extra upsetting. words. <laughs> uh, let's see. Back to Sean. Yeah, four to two. Sean needs a point here. Sean, which horror movie character is a serial killer possessing a doll? Possessing a doll. Chucky. 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 Chucky is right. But sadly, Kenzie has four, and she can win with this question right here, okay? I know. I know. I, know. <laughs> I, like, I like Sean. Weird I guy. Too. Weird guy, but I like him. He's, yeah. got, he's got some pizzazz to him, doesn't he? I like it. Okay. Uh, Kenzie. What? <laughs> Why are you looking like that? What is the term bay said to be an acronym for? Before anyone else. Oh. <laughs> Well, there you go. Kenzie wins. I'm so sorry, Sean. Hey, tomorrow's my birthday. No, it isn't. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, he's evil. I love it. Oh, God. Just for shooting your shot, I, I, 
Are you going to give him tickets? No. Sean, listen. You can't come on, Come on, Bee. Don't let me down. I can't do it. I'm sorry, man. We, that was really oh. messed up, Brian. I know, Sean. But here's what you do, Sean. I love you, man. So hang up, and in three minutes, we're going to have everybody call, and you still have a shot, okay? Please, Brian. <laughs> that was so messed up, Brian. To... to Tease it and rip it out from under him was really messed up. I know. I can't. We can't go back in that path where we gave everybody tickets all the time, whether they won or lost. We just can't go there. Well, you should have so start, half said it. Start tomorrow. Start tomorrow, man. Come on. I vote for him. I would say give him tickets. All right, we're, nice. all right. We're starting tomorrow. Hey, we're starting tomorrow. You got the tickets, man. Yeah. You got the t- <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Thank you guys. Woo! All right, I like him. We're starting tomorrow. Where the losers can't get tickets. Yeah, You're say, all, don't uh, half don't half say it. That's yeah, it. No I will. It's my fault. It's my fault. I led you there, Sean, and you you seem like the biggest corn fan. Give us that corn on the way out here. Go ahead, give us the corn again. <laughs> now he sounds like Cornholio. <laughs> Clash with Kenzie. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. All right, you love free stuff. Don't worry about it because a half hour away from your chance to get to the offspring at the Metro. 8 a.m. with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And more corn tickets tomorrow at 710. Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Brian and Kenzie in the morning, and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Again, those corn tickets. I said 710. Now, we gave them away just a few minutes ago at 730. You're like, why 710? Well, we get you on the phones at 710 after sports. So that's how we get our all 10 lines lined up. And by the time we get the class with Kenzie, you know, it might be around 730, 725. So just so you know, tomorrow, 710, those corn tickets. People are dying for these tickets, man. That's going to be an outstanding show. Veteran of several Q101 shows, including Twisted Christmas, where I, I swear they... They steal the show no matter who else is on it. So those corn tickets coming up tomorrow again. And also a reminder that the Offspring tickets coming up at 8 today, 25 minutes away, for the Metro. Some of your last chances. It's tomorrow night at the Metro. Under 1,000 people are going to be in there and 50,000 people watching them at Riot Fest on Friday performing Smash in its entirety. It will be historic. It will be magnificent and wonderful if you're here at 8 o'clock to get those tickets. Now, yesterday at this time, as we talked about on the show that happened after the show uh, on the day before, where Kenzie could not let Case, the producer, go on the fact that Brown is Thanksgiving. It's the same thing. (laughs) You're describing it so weird, but, like, it's two things that mean the same thing to you. Correct, but you were were honed in on Brown is Thanksgiving. I am honed in on if they're the the same thing. It doesn't matter. Brown and Thanksgiving are the same thing. And because Case didn't didn't just say, yes, I agree with you and move on, it turned into a 15-minute interrogation where... Well, he looked at me like I was a psychopath, and that really bothered me. It wasn't like, I don't 100% know what you mean. Yeah. He was just like... You're obviously an idiot. Was the facial expression I received? Well, I will also say as a as a witness, in the, <laughs> <laughs> I do declare. I do. I do declare that Kenzie, you just didn't let go, and for 15 minutes berating him until he gave up like launch codes. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mind shut off as soon as I heard. Brown is Thanksgiving, because those aren't words that go together. That's not a sentence, nor does it make sense. And at that point, I was done with the conversation. Little did I learn, Kenzie was not. Clearly not done. (laughs) Well, that's not fair. I wasn't just saying that over and over again. I was trying to give other examples that I thought would relate to your life. I was trying to be helpful. I'm aware. As a a witness, (laughs) I I heard it all. Isn't there a band, like Case loves bands, that's like his number one thing in life. Sure. And I go, isn't there a band that makes you feel like, like, like winter, like that band is so winter because they have somber music or so summer because the first time you heard them was when you were at a music festival. Now it makes you always feel like Lollapalooza. Like, don't you have an association like that? See, this is the conversation you, you I had. Me, <laughs> this is exactly well, the you conversation. You told me to like basically <laughs> jump off of a building, yeah. which just seemed unnecessary. I was just a witness to this conversation for 15 minutes and Case never broke. He gave up all kinds of things. We now know all kinds of facts on who killed JFK, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. the launch codes for the nuclear <laughs> missiles, but he would not agree that Brown is Thanksgiving. Now, turns out the majority of our audience, people listening, 
are on Kenzie's side on this, and many things relate to other things, as I brought up an example of how soup makes me feel sick. Because yes. whenever you're sick, you eat soup. Mm -hmm. Things like that. There was a Facebook uh, post on this that we talked about. Now, Case goes home, and correct me if I'm wrong how I'm describing this case, but uh, your girlfriend that you live with is a psychology major. This is true. Okay. And she said, well, you know Kenzie was right, right? It's something... Oh, thank God. I didn't know where this was going. <laughs> <laughs> so my girlfriend's a psychology major. Ugh. Oh. Told Kenzie a new one yesterday. And I Kenzie know. is wacko. <laughs> I was like, I don't feel good. I'm like, it's like soup. No one ran this by me off air at mm -hmm. all. So I have no idea what I was diagnosed with. Yeah. And Kenzie's girl is incredibly smart. And she said, now I'm not that smart because she said what it's called. There's a... It's called... Synesthesia, I believe. Try it again. Synesthesia. Synesthesia? Synesth... Cynthia. He's having a stroke. Synth... <laughs> Kenzie, call 911. God, I need a cheeseburger right now. Synth... Synest... Synthesizer? No. I can't see the word. I know. I'm trying to figure out what you're saying. Hold on. Let me... You know what? I... So there's a YouTube video I haven't listened to, but I doubt they're swearing in it because it says, what color is Tuesday? Exploring synesthesia. Oh. But I want to see what how they say it. Cine, cine. How do you think it is? I can't see the word. I'm, right. guessing, I'm, I'm guessing what the word is based off of you. I can't see it. I don't know what this YouTube video is. I'm just going to play it, and we'll see if we get there. Okay. Um. Imagine a world in which you see numbers and letters as colored, even though they're printed in black. In which music or voices trigger a swirl of moving colored shapes. In which words and names fill your mouth with unusual flavors. Jail tastes like cold, hard. Ooh, jail tastes like cold. Mm -hmm. Cold hard bacon. something. We didn't hear the rest of that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting excited. It's a really cool video. Jail I feel like Charlie like Brown. Cold. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> hard bacon, while Derek tastes like earwax. So your friend Derek tastes like earwax. Vol Derek. That's it. It's a Derek. No, no. The, I got the translation up. It was just Derek. Just Derek? Yeah. So guy, some guy named Derek tastes so. like earwax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say synesthesia, dude. Just say it. Welcome to synesthesia. Oh! Synesthesia! I got it! Kind of. Synesthesia. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> what do you mean? I got it. So you added a few extra little flair at the end. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. Welcome to synesthesia. Synesthesia is what you said. You made it fun. <laughs> I make a lot of things fun. I know. I'm not against it. That's why I would have said it like Liberace. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. It was like you were ordering at a restaurant. I'll have the synesthesia with the cheese fries it and a large coat. It sounds bad. I have to be honest. I don't yeah. feel good about having it. I've been itching all day. I have the synesthesia. <laughs> I don't, yeah, it sounds like I've been diagnosed with something very serious. I don't like it. All right, well, that's what it is. Synesthesia. Synesthesia. <laughs> You have, to, you have to curl the word in. You Why do you sound like Johnny Cash at the end? <laughs> synesthesia. I like, so he did. I like synesthesia. Synesthesia. Welcome to synesthesia. Synesthesia. This guy's boring. He least... tastes, what does he taste like? <laughs> tastes like bacon. Um, <laughs> anyway. Did she have any other thing like about this? Is it good, bad? Just that Am I going to age bad because of it? Something no, like that? Just Am I have wrinkles? People that associate this are typically smarter than those that don't have this sensation. So really? you're, you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. How do I you know. feel? Because you don't do it, dumbass. I still feel <laughs> smarter than everybody else. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> Brian and Kenzie in the morning. And Chicago's alternative all day. Q101.